Good morning beautiful people, it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 10. For today's video, I am actually heading back to London. So it's currently the week before Christmas and I'm heading into London to meet two of my lovely creative friends, Bryony and Laura, and we're going to have a lovely, cute, festive day in London and we are going to be doing some photo shooting for Instagram, which is very exciting. I definitely need to start uh, picking up my Instagram game because I've really lacked in taking some nice kind of aesthetic fashion photos for you guys. Hopefully we may be able to go to like a Christmas market or something that's on. However, the rain isn't looking too promising. It is chucking it down here where I am. But hopefully, if I get on a train and get to London, fingers crossed there won't be any rain. The time is currently... Also, sorry for the really low croaky voice. This is what I sound like in the morning. I should have put a little disclaimer at the beginning of Vlogmas saying, when I wake up in Vlogmas, I do not sound my normal self. Like I sound low and deep and I don't know where it comes from. It's like an inner demon inside of me. Um, but the time is currently 8.43 in the morning and yeah, I'm gonna get cracking on with the day. I need to actually walk to the train station. I've parked up kind of just around the corner because it's free parking. We love free parking. I'm trying to upload an Instagram this morning, but I just don't know what to upload. Oh. The dilemmas. What is everyone else like when they wake up in the morning? Are you a morning bird? Like, are you an early worm gets the worm? Is that a word? No. Um, what's the phrase? Um, early bird gets the worm. Are you like an early bird gets the worm? Do you like to wake up early and start your day fresh and early? Or are you more of like a night owl and evening person? Let me know in the comments box below. I'm just intrigued because I am a huge morning person like i would if i could have it my way i would wake up at like 5 6 a.m in the morning and then start my day then and then go to bed around like 10 11 just because i don't know as soon as i'm awake and i wake up and my i hear my alarm i'm like oh ain't nothing gonna make my stride ain't nothing gonna slow me down whoa <laughs> i really like to kind of wake up in the morning and i'm ready for the day i know obviously a lot more people are evening people but if you're a morning person Give this video a like so I know I'm not the only one. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get started with the day. I'm going to head to London and I will see you when I get to London and when I get to see my friends. The weather is not on our side today. It's really disgusting. Um, but... Oh! Why do you always do <laughs> Laura doesn't realise that I'm vlogging. <laughs> talking to me always. No, sorry. I'm talking to my beautiful other friends. So as you can tell, my hair has uh, officially deflated and no longer looks nice, but we're gonna make do with what we've got. We've just come down one of the side streets uh, down by Liverpool Street and Spitalfields Market, and we are going to just film a little bit of content. This is the bag that I'm using. To be fair, normally I bring a suitcase, but I left it at university, so I've managed to jam pack about five different outfits and shoes into this bag. So I'm kind of lugging it around London. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that remind me of the one in Norwich? <laughs> okay, I, I can see the vision, I can see the vision. Take three guys, take three. <laughs> that umbrella is the funniest thing. We are now heading to Spitalfields Market to just have a nice little festive jolly around London. Honestly, we're standing outside right now and look how beautiful Spitalfields Market looks from the outside. They've got all of these beautiful lights around the trees and they have this giant wreath and this blanket of lights. I just love it. So we're gonna go have a look in there and of course I will take you around with me. Look at the Christmas trees. I wonder whether these are real actually. Let me see, are these real? Uh, no, I, oh. Oh, I can't tell. I don't think they are. Or maybe, to be fair, they do look pretty convincing. Oh, they look lovely. Oh, I love this one. It does give me like Burberry vibes, doesn't it? How much is it? Seven quid. Seven quid? Yeah. That's much cheaper than Burberry. <laughs> Here's my scarf, guys, dragging along the floor. I've had this scarf for years, but as you can tell, I love a good scarf. They're like my favorite things to wear during uh, winter and Christmas time. We're at a vintage store. How cool are these? 
God, that yellow jacket How is nice. gorgeous. We found this scarf, because that says Chanel, but then that says Chanel. Chanel. <laughs> we have come to a little cafe in the Swisselfields Market at the entrance and it is called Crepe Affair and it's a cafe Crepe, yeah. Crepe Affair or yeah. something like that. I really I'm really bad at pronouncing things. Um, but it's a cafe and creperie, honestly. So lovely, it smells delicious. We're outside by some lovely warm heaters and we got some hot chocolates. We were just saying that um, we've never had hot chocolates before with straws. Like I've never drunk a hot chocolate before from a straw, but let's give it a try. Also, Briny ordered me a hot chocolate with like a special um, syrup, so I'm gonna see if I can taste the syrup. I'm very excited. Oh my god. That like is the syrup. There's no hot chocolate in it. <laughs> Really? Is it all syrup? It literally feels like a sticky, thick syrup. Merry Christmas! Good morning, beautiful people. So, it is currently the next day, and I'm sitting in my living room. I am no longer in London, so I decided to film this vlog in two parts because there wasn't a lot of content to shoot when I was in London, so I thought I would split this into two days because today I'm going on a very lovely winter walk to somewhere called Nebworth House uh, with one of my lovely friends, Lucy. Uh, she's featured in one of my videos before and she's one of those friends who you just have for like the longest time. Like I've known her since we first did drama school together. If you didn't know, I'm a huge theatre nerd. Like I love going to the theatre. It's so sad that theatre shows aren't able to go ahead due to the pandemic and things. I cannot wait for the day that I get to see my next musical. Like it's just my favourite thing. So I just listen to soundtracks to get me by. Um, but yeah, we used to do drama school together. I think I'm going to take my dog, but I've never actually done the walk before. So I'm very, very excited. The weather is looking so beautiful today, which is a bonus. Um, I'm just feeling super, super cosy, not gonna lie. I mean, my nice little black roll neck, my nice tie-dye jumper, and then on the bottom, I've got my um, uh, paint black jeans on. So I'm actually feeling super, super cool today. I feel like because it's the week before Christmas, I'm kind of like, I'm feeling it. I'm actually going to be wrapping Laura's Christmas present. Finally, I'm pretty sure in Vlogmas, I've said that I'm going to wrap Laura's Christmas present over and over again, but today I need to get it sent off. I've got the iconic Jamie wrapping paper, and then I've also got this one from m and I bought this in the sale last year for a pound. Then I've got these really cute tags. Look how cute this little penguin one is. Okay guys, so I've had to leave because as I was wrapping, I realized that I didn't have any any bubble wrap it's something fragile or there are fragile parts to it so I don't want to send it all the way via post to the Lake District and it gets broken or is smashed like how disappointing to receive a smashed gift present and obviously like I spent a lot of money on it so I want to make sure that it gets there in one piece so I'm gonna run down the road I need to pick up some fuel oh gosh and I need to get bubble wrap I just got to B&M it is 10 a.m. in the morning okay we got this we got this put the Christmas mask on oh, maybe I should take the keys out the engine first see look at those beautiful blue skies I wasn't lying guys so heading into B&M as we speak oh I love these Emma Bridgewater tins I really want one when they um, first came out I was like, because I love Emma Bridgewater so much, like any sort of Emma Bridgewater product, I absolutely love. So I've got the travel mug and I've also got the Chili's bottle for like my water and I love polka dots. Anything polka dot is like my favourite thing in the whole wide world. They've just come out with new roses tin, so you can buy a roses tin that was designed by Emma Bridgewater and it's beautiful. I have no need to spend that much money on a roses tin because normally they're like three four pounds and i do not have the money to spend eight pounds on an emma bridgewater tin i still want it nevertheless bubble wrap has been retrieved i'm now getting back into my car to go home to then wrap laura's present oh guys i said that my mum's birthday vlog would be the last manic stressful vlog of vlogmas but here i am running around like a headless chicken trying to get everything sorted the thing is it's like christmas has just come around i'm like since when is it literally next week
order to gain sole ownership of the company. Objection, John. No further questions. Ooh. That is hot. Hello beautiful people. So, excuse the really bad lighting. The sun is really low today, do you not think? Yes. <laughs> Lisa was like, Sorry. are you talking to me? <laughs> so, I am joined with the lovely, oh well, you're not on camera, Lucy. Oh, Hi. Oh, to be fair, yeah, it's, it's so, so bright. bright. I cannot see anything. All is calm, all, all is, is bright. bright. We have come on a little dog walk. So, everybody meet Ebony. Ebony, you're gonna be famous. She really She's is. like, She's get like, me off the lead. Ebony's a Labrador as well. Obviously, Bella is a chocolate Labrador, and Ebony is a black well, they've lab. Never met before. No, they haven't, have they? Years. Me and Lucy have been friends what six years, yeah, I think it's six years. and they've never met. We have come to the wonderful Nebworth House Wall. Joined with our fellow friends. Our fellow friends. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's loads of like. <laughs> To be fair, at first I thought that, sorry, I'm trying to walk my dog and uh, switch around the camera. At first I thought that they were reindeer. reindeer. I was like, oh my God, are they reindeer? And Lucy was like, no. No, they're just deer. No, they're just deer. They're just deer. They're just deer. But to be fair, I'm with my family. <laughs> Oh my god. Jamie Deer has arrived. Oh no, they're all looking at us. It's because they know that um, we sing, so? the king is here. Yeah. Guys, they're all moving. I've never seen them that close. Do you know what? I feel like I'm in the um, Lion King and they're about to charge. Can you see the one with the really, really big horns? Where? They're all coming towards us and I'm terrified. They literally are. I'm just uh, continuing to walk with my dog, just kind of like ignoring the fact that they're all walking towards us. Cause then maybe they're just trying to mark their territory. Yeah. No, yeah, we'll just keep walking. We'll just keep walking. I love your earrings. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, I can't. A little, um... Like Christmas, Christmas red. Oh, bows. And they match your nail polish. We love a Christmas be themed as day. As we can. Honestly, that's all we can do at the moment. That's literally all we can do. Oh, they are beautiful. Yeah, do like a zoom. You can zoom on that thing. Right? I can zoom. Let me zoom in and show you guys. To be fair, we are very close to them. We're really close to them. Oh, look how gorgeous they are. This one here has huge antlers. They're all looking at us like, why are you recording me? I did not give consent. <laughs> so they filmed Paddington 2 here. <gasps> you know, do you remember Paddington 2? You know what? I've never seen Paddington before. Okay, well, that's shocking and you should check. <laughs> I had my prom here. So I had my sixth form prom. I did. So this estate always brings back lovely memories. And also I often come here for the outdoor cinema in um, yes. summer. Oh, look how beautiful oh. this is. I didn't come prepared once more, so I'm wearing my Nike Air Force ones, which are white. And here I am walking my dog in a muddy field. Oh, she's gonna change. She's gonna change. <laughs> oh no! Oh. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. They're so cute. Guys, I think I need to invest in some Hunter's Wellington boots. Oh, we just need some. Wellington boots. They don't necessarily have to be hunters. That's true. I just need some Wellington boots. I think I just like hunters because... You like the brand. I like the brand. They're very stylish and fashionable. I definitely need some Wellington boots for when I start coming home and visit Lucy and I'm just walking the dog a lot more. Oh, good yes. girl. Bella, I don't have to, I'm not your I've, I've got your lead. Eddie, you Sit down. Sit. Sit down. Good girl. Can I tie you up? Oh, okay. She's standing up. Wait a second. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're about to head to the house and obviously when we get to the house and the barns, we will show you guys. We're just having a nice little catch up. So guys, we have just um, stopped off. I was going to say parked up, but we haven't parked up. We've, we've parked, parked our ourselves. booties up. Um, we've just stopped off outside of Neverworth the Barns. Oh, look at the little doggies. Having a little jolly in front of us. And this is where I had my year 12 prom. Nice. Oh, the memory. Memories. I think. Oh, you year 13 prom. Yeah, so I was 18 at the time. Yeah, you 13. Oh, I just. Mad. It was one of my favourite days ever. Your suit was amazing. Wasn't it? Oh my god. I haven't seen this suit. I will leave it on the screen now. It on your Instagram or, or something. Yes. It was incredible. But look how pretty it is. It was seriously like the best prom ever. I wish I could go back. Would you go back to like your younger self and do things differently or would you just stay the same yeah I'd yeah stay the same. I, I i would probably stay the same but at the same time i'd love to go back and maybe come on I, Belle. I don't think i'd want to relive my prom 
Really? Yeah. Oh, see, I'd love to live, relive my year 13, 18 year old self. I would probably go back to my 18th birthday because I went to Australia. Yeah. I had my big sixth form, uh, my sixth form prom. I just felt like a lot happened in that year, which I was so that in was love with and so many memories. The only time I've ever seen, I don't know if you can, I don't know if you want to talk about this on the channel. It's the only time I've ever seen you drunk. <gasps> oh my God. Literally, you I've. On the channel? Yeah, I don't care. And Jamie decided that it would be the best thing to do. Oh, we've got a car coming. Okay. To run it in the middle of the road at 1 a.m. Oh my god. That was so funny that though. Was such a good night. And I was like, Jamie! <laughs> yeah, because we were trying to whisper, weren't we? Yeah, and then we were like, why are we whispering? We're walking through the middle of the town. It was because it was 1 a.m. And at the yeah, time, I was like, people can't know that I'm drunk. <laughs> How old is this house? It's not actually as old as it looks. And that's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you look at it and you think it's like hundreds and hundreds of years old, but it's really not. It was built to look more older old than it modern. is. Like, Ooh. Yeah. They do loads of old filming, like period dramas and things, because it looks a lot Yeah, more I was about to say, it's giving me very kind of Downton Abbey vibes. Yes. Oh, how beautiful. So immaculate. Imagine living in that, guys. Look at that. I'd love to get married somewhere like here. Yes. Countryside very historical and beautiful but at the same time like nice yeah exactly guys look how cool that is i'm having to crouch on the ground but um you can just see the shadow of it but isn't that just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen featuring oh hello <laughs> beautiful just like no i i'm the most beautiful. i am the most beautiful oh i love it it's a shame that the sun is obviously behind the castle and you can't no, see it's more like um atmospheric with the sun Oh yes, find the positives, mm. babe. I mean, you look beautiful in this lighting. Thank you. But it's because of this damn sun. We're going inside the church. Oh, I am. Supposed to be with a Greg's alien ring that come on top of the cupcakes. I do remember that. I do. Was that your 16? Or maybe it was my 17. But either way, I did either propose. Way, I did propose, so we're just gonna go get and married. get married. With See you later, guys. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Liam. Bella, do you give consent to be a witness? Yeah, guys, are you gonna be our witnesses? Are you gonna be my page boy? <gasps> yeah, and Ebony can be my maid of honour. Oh my god, Bella, you're gonna be my bridesmaid. <gasps> are you gonna be my bridesmid? She's like, you. what like are you chatting about? Oh, look how beautiful this is. You can see a little bit more of the kind of building architecture now. Oh, I love it. I have sat down on a bench <laughs> and outside the church and here's Bella just in front of me and Lucy and Ebony. And very excitingly, Lucy, because I haven't actually eaten that much today because as you guys know, it's just been a stupidly busy morning and she made me a little cheese sandwich for lunch. Oh, Bella's perked up now. She's like, oh, is that cheese sandwich for me? Apparently, Lucy said it's one of the worst ones she's ever made, but I don't think you can ever make a bad cheese sandwich. I think you can. So what is this? Mature cheddar. And butter. To be fair though, it's white bread. I'm very Six. excited. Okay, are you Six. ready? Oh God. I mean, I don't actually really know how you can go wrong with a cheese sandwich. You never can. But, yeah, mm. taking a long time to swallow. <laughs> no, it's because I keep laughing and thinking of things to say. It's delicious. <laughs> We've just finished our walk and I'm about to say goodbye to Lucy for hopefully not too long. No, we're gonna do something after Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Fingers, yeah. Crossed. Fingers crossed. At the end of December, we'll be able to see each other soon. Yeah. Um, but thank you so much for a lovely Thanks day. For Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Have a lovely Christmas. Me too. Merry Christmas. Met Merry everyone. Hello, did you have a nice time? She's just basking in the sun. Oh, are you feeling camera shy? Are you tired? Have a lie down, gorgeous. Did you have a nice time with Ebony? Playing in Nebworth house? Oh, let's get you home. We are now about to head home and I have a university seminar now. Okay guys, so I just got home. I've just pulled up and I now have to run indoors because I have a university seminar. So I'm going to end the vlog here just because my afternoon is basically going to consist of university work and dropping a parcel to the post office. Sorry, Laura, um, I've left it so late. I hope you can forgive me if it turns up late, but fingers crossed. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Vlogmas and Vlogmas Day 10. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button and of course, subscribe down below for more festive content we've only got two more days of vlogmas left did you enjoy it can I have a kiss
Oh, good girl. Anyway, guys, it's uh, goodbye from me and Bella, and I will see you in the next Vlogmas. Bye, guys. Bella, say goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs>